Hi everybody, well it's time for a catch up on the Division 1 National on the New Junction Canal. Now the New Junction Canal, as you know, is a really, really good venue, but also the Aaron and Calder was used as part of this big national this year. I think this was a really intelligent move by the Angling Trust and Paul Cagle, who, you, who helped a lot to organise this uh, national. By using these two venues, it meant they could peg every other peg throughout the national, which gave plenty of room to all the competitors, which as a result meant there was some really good fishing to be had. The air and colder in particular was absolutely fantastic. Um, I saw 10, 9 kilo weights of roach. Uh, that's without bream. There was 20 kilo weights of skimmers. There was four or five kilos was poor points in some sections, which is incredible fishing for a national championships. On the air, on the new junction, not quite as good as that, but that's to be expected after a lot of heavy rain. New Junction is a little bit different to the air and colder, doesn't like lots of rain, doesn't influence it very well. And those small fish shut up shop a little bit, but still four, five, six pound was commonplace on this national. Um, I think we had uh, four kilo, four kilo, four kilo, and three nine hundred for four of our men. So that's averaging eight pound. That's very good fishing for silverfish on a national championship. So it was a really good match. The build up was quite interesting um, because I've been away in Croatia and so had a lot of the team. We didn't get a chance to go on there a lot. Um, people often say to me, oh, it's a local venue for you. I heard the term your backyard. I don't really think so. It's about 45 minutes away, which isn't far, but we don't get a chance to fish there. I haven't fished on the New Junction Canal since the last national, and I know two or three of the team are exactly the same. Um, and the air and cold, a couple of the lads fish it quite regularly, which was nice for them. So that was good, get a little bit of information from them. So we needed to get on there. How are we going to get on there? Well, two weeks before the national, um, I made a weekend free and I managed to get on a match Saturday and Sunday. The fishing was brilliant. I really enjoyed myself. I had eight and ten pound of silverfish on the two days managing to win a section on both times, and I really enjoyed it. I felt there was a lot of roach to catch, and I learned a lot about how to target those roach. It was the normal uh, New Junction Canal for me. I balled in some ground bait. Um, I know a lot of anglers like to cut the ground bait on there. I still like to ball it. And then loose feeding squats and hemp over the top seems to be the best way. Uh, you need a range of floats set up. I tend to set up 0 0.3, 0 0.4, all the way up to a gram. Sometimes it's towing back and forth, so you don't really know what you're going to do in terms of float size. Um, small hooks are always a must on there. I use some 20 and 22 N10s, which are really light, small hooks, but they're still strong enough should I hook a bigger fish. Um, the key is with this line, don't go too far out. You know, maximum 11 metres. You have to little look at your peg and see what depth you've got. Try and make an assessment there where you want to catch these fish. You can't lose feed squats any further than 11 metres anyway. So think carefully about where you're going to fish it. But the big change for me was skimmers and bream. Now, skimmers and bream on the New Junction Canal, I've never seen them. Um, I've never been fishing there. But everyone tells me the last three or four years... There's loads and loads of skimmers and bream. I fished it quite a bit before that, and those bream and skimmers didn't exist. So when I had two days at the weekend, and I didn't see many bream and skimmers caught, and I managed to win my section with roach, in my mind, I started to believe that roach were the key. However, everyone kept saying to me, don't forget there are skimmers and bream. So as a team, we agreed we had to have areas of the peg to target them. Long pole and a feeder. These were the two lines, and these lines are attacked with fish meal ground baits, um, you know, chop worms, maybe a few casters, and you're looking to catch, they are proper fish, they can be up to five pounds. So, you know, if you imagine you're fishing for four, five, six pound, and you can catch a bream, that's a huge bonus. On the day of the match, I drew a peg, permanent peg, 300 and... 10 i think uh, i would think i was 310 it's the top of the steps um towards the stretch that they call barking dogs um it had some trees it had some cover simon field for my team had been on it the week before and he'd had a kilo 800 and he said look there is an odd bream in the area but they didn't catch anywhere he was 
Um, and he said there was a lot of small fish. So I thought, well, if I can catch two, three kilo of small fish and have that chance of a skimmer, that might be how I get to that three, four kilo mark, which is going to be mega, mega points. So I started off, had a really enjoyable start, caught some little skimmers, some perch, and actually it was going all right. I probably had about two pound, maybe a pound and a half, um, after an hour, hour and 10 minutes. However, I did feel it was fading. So I knew this was the time to have a look on that feeder, which I'd put some bait in at the start. Second cast, I caught a skimmer about two pound. An amazing start. The next one after that, another one about a pound and a half. And then two trucks later, I caught a bream, three, three and a half pound, which for me was an incredible little run. And it shot me right up the section. Everybody was saying the small fish weren't playing ball. We'd had a lot of rain and I knew that that was going to hit them and it really did. This is the same bit that two weeks before I'd caught four kilos and it wasn't looking like anyone could catch more than two kilos of small fish. And I already had three and a half kilos at least in the net. So then what happened was I knew I had to fish for skimmers a bit more. Uh, Will Raisin was on my left. He'd caught three bream. So... I knew those three bream were going to be really good for him. So I had to catch another bream or skimmer to even come close. Fortunately, I managed another sort of big skimmer, maybe call it a bream. It was about two and a half pound. That left me with four fish, four proper fish. So a few bits and bobs on the pole, a little small eel on the pole as well for four kilo, 400. And that put me fifth in my 48 pegs, which if you come top 10, in your big section in the national, you've done brilliantly well. If you, you know, if that happened to all of you, you'd certainly be on to a winner. So, I was absolutely delighted with that. When we came back, it looked like we'd done really well. We'd had a couple of iffy pegs with mid-section scores, which, when you're looking at iffy pegs for mid-section scores, you're looking good. And then everybody else was in the top ten. Tom Barlow won his section on debut for us, which was a great performance. Uh, he caught 10 kilos of roach on the Aaron Calder. That was, uh, you know, just shows how good that venue could be. Uh, James Dent caught 10 kilos on the Aaron Calder as well. We had two other strong performances. You know, to be fair, everybody did really well. Matt Godfrey was in a tough area, but came back with top 10. Um, that, that to me is brilliant. So as a team, we were getting excited. We thought we had a chance of winning. And Hull and District had done really well. Really nice guys at Hull. Um, really like a lot of the guys that fish for them. And it was looking like they were going to do really well as well. So when they read the results out and we'd managed to beat them by 10 points, as you can imagine, we were all very, very pleased and got a little bit excited. So the, the magical thing about this result for us is last year on the River Trent, which is, you know, a big river, completely different venue. We managed to win the national. So we've won it two years in a row. Um, and we did win it also four years ago. So three times out of four years for me and all the team. We're absolutely delighted with that. You know, it, a lot of hard work and effort has gone into this team. When I joined 12, 13 years ago, it always looked like we we're on a good path. And it seems to be going really well at the moment. I think one of the most important things is, you know, there's some really strong friendships in that group. We all work well together. These guys are, are close friends, so I want to share information with them. I want to help them. I want to practice so I don't um, let anyone down. And I'm sure that that makes a big difference. And as a result, we've been really lucky to have five or six fantastic years now. So really enjoy my team fishing with Barnsley. And that was uh, a, you know, a, a good highlight to the year, to be honest. What else is on the agenda? Well, it's absolutely action-packed at the moment. I am going to Staunton Howell Reservoir this weekend for a two-day festival on Saturday and Sunday. It's a great big reservoir. I've never fished a match there. I've been there a couple of times filming, but I haven't fished a match there. So I'm really looking forward to that because, you know, it's something different for me. You know, I know I'm going to be up against it because I haven't fished a match, but I am looking forward to trying a few things, hopefully catching a few fish. And it's great preparation for Ireland, which is the week after where I'm off on the World Pairs with Rob Wooten, which is going to be really, really good. I have got Evesham team match Monday. Um, you know, I like the Evesham team match. Very peggy venue, Evesham. So uh, I'm hoping we can get a good draw there and hopefully get a good result. Um, 
and then like I say it's all all systems go off to Ireland for some fantastic fish on the world pairs I noticed 60 pairs booked on this year uh, I think there's 20 pairs from Germany Belgium Netherlands uh, so 40 pairs from the UK you know Ireland and the UK which is brilliant I mean what an incredible competition 120 anglers battling it out North Island Republic of Ireland absolutely brilliant I can't think of a of a more exciting competition to go to uh, on an individual slash pairs basis for me apart from the world champs it's it's probably my favorite week of the year so really looking forward to that what I'll do catch you up after Staunton Harold weekend let you know how it's gone at Evesham as well and then it's all systems go for Ireland and we'll talk about that when we get back hope that's been good hope it's been an enjoyable catch up and I'll speak to you soon